Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and welcome back. This is a tech tip. Uh, so I'm talking about today is an Adobe Reader version 11, uh, recently new, and it's free. Everyone loves free stuff. Uh, but in the Turk world, we normally don't download it, and you know we don't click on that download. We get to this part right here, and we download the .exe file, and we install it. In the tech world, we normally like to do this in massive. Uh, we normally like to push it either in GPO, uh, SCCM 2007 or 2012, MDT, or other ways to do a mass deployment. Now, to do mass deployment, sometimes you need an MSI file to do it because you could do it silently, meaning uh, the user won't have any interaction. It just installs and you're good to go. Now, to get this, uh, Adobe provides an IT OEM admins distributive Adobe Reader EXE file which allows you to get the MSI file which I'm, I'm actually going to show you how to get the MSI file from the EXE file so once you click on this link you know you just read whatever you click on this link right here it's going to take you to this page now to retrieve this distributed free Adobe Reader in volumes you have to have a corporate email so if you're using like a gmail.com or yahoo hotmail it's not gonna work so this has to be done on a corporate email fill out all the information that you want most likely you're gonna receive two emails the first email is going to be a um, making sure that that you are who you're basically telling them that you are uh, you click on that link it verifies the email address that you provided and uh, it makes sure that it's at a corporate email address then the second email appears and that one will give you the link that allows you to download the exe file now I already have the exe file already downloaded and I have the distributed portion because I downloaded it today because I had to upgrade my SCCM uh, advertisement to push out version 11 to all my machines so I have it so the problem is with the exe is you will have the GUI you know and there's not a lot of commands that you can do with the exe so this is what you're gonna get you don't want this you wanna suppress that now what you could do is I'm already you have to be part of a command prompt like I'm already a command prompt and I'm logged in as an administrator within the command prompt and I'm inside this folder right here okay within this folder you want to run this command okay the the name of the exe file right here space dash n o s underscore o c colon backslash adobe reader files space dash n o s underscore n e now this right here this portion right here which I'm see if I can highlight it for you market so this portion right here this is a folder that's gonna be created on a C drive so I'm gonna bring up my C drive this is my C drive All right, I don't have the name of the folder so when I run this command I'm gonna hit enter what's gonna happen is it's gonna run it's gonna run the installation but as you can see on the side right here my Adobe Reader files folders created when you double click on it there's nothing in there yet so once this is completed I'm actually gonna have an MSI file and also an MSP file MSI, the MSI file is what you can use to distribute it with a GPO policy SCCM advertisement or a, you can actually deploy it with uh, your MDT server right but the problem is you don't really have too much customization with the MSI's believe it or not Adobe have come out with an Adobe customization wizard which I will provide all these links at the bottom of the video I already downloaded and I already installed it and as you can see it's right here Adobe customization wizard 11 I'm gonna open it up and this is what you get when you open it up the first time so I'm gonna close all these windows right here Right, I'm gonna close this and exit out of this. And 
this particular application will allow you to open up the MSI that you just extracted from that EXE. So I'm going to open up that package. Uh, I put it on the C drive and Adobe Reader, MSI, and there you go. Installation path, you can actually change the installation path. The, the EULA option, I'm going to suppress it. You can actually disable it, but suppress it so the user won't see it. Installation option. You can actually make the reader the default PDF view, which is awesome. Awesome, I mean. <laughs> uh, you want to install this silently. You want no interface to pop up. You also want to suppress the reboot. So if you're pushing this out during work hours, you don't want the machines to reboot all of a sudden. Or if you push it after five, and the next morning the users come in, you don't want the user's machine to reboot when they log in. Then files and folders. The ones that I normally use the most is installation options and personal options. That's the only thing I use. I won't do anything else with the other options. But if you guys are interested in the other options that the Adobe Customization Wizard 11 has, hey, shoot me a comment and I will do future videos on each and every option within the Customization Wizard. Once you're completed with customizing the MSI file, just hit save and that's it you have a MSI that you already customize it the way that you want it deploy it in any way that you want and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please share please comment please like uh, without your support uh, BJ Tech News is nothing so I'll catch you guys later and peace out